Hey kids, it's Thursday. Guess what? That means I'm here with Queens of the Week. All right, this week our topic is from Lady Portia, and it is about corporal punishment. She said she remembers beginning smacked in school, then when it all of a sudden stopped, she noticed a steady decline in society and the world. Should corporal punishment be re-interjected into schools in order to bring back a level of respect in our world, giving to the youth of today and tomorrow consequences for their actions and give children boundaries? Wow, she's digging deep. Um, our rainbow butter Hello Kitty girl just went serious, um, which I love. I love a good topic. I too was beat in school. Um, in fourth grade in uh, Indiana Elementary School, um, Thorntown Elementary actually, I was drawing a picture of a girl named Stacy Reagan, and um, <laughs> I was drawing her silhouette. I was drawing like her nose and her lips. But of course, I didn't know how to draw a flat, just a girl. I mean, it was fourth grade, she didn't have boobs. But I drew boobs, beautiful boobs, and down I was drawing her body. And I was just drawing the silhouette. Like I hadn't put clothes on it yet. And I guess she saw me staring at her and was complaining. I was drawing her hairstyle, all that. And uh, she complained to the teacher. And I got sent to the principal's office for drawing a naked picture, and I was spanked. And, um, for drawing porn, I guess. Well, needless to say, I kind of stopped drawing after that. But, I wasn't drawing a naked picture. I just hadn't put a clothes on it yet. I was just drawing the guy, the outline. I, like, I didn't draw a nipple or an areola or anything. I just drew, like, a boob. Anyways, um, I definitely remember when we were allowed to spank. And needless to say, I never did that again. And I was more mortified being sent to the principal's office. And then once I got there to get reprimanded and disciplined, oh, yes. Um, the Bible says to spare the rod and spoil the child, which means if you don't teach your children boundaries, if you don't give them reprimands. In my own family, one of my aunts um, would always say, you know, to her children, if you don't stop, I'm going to give you the count of three. One, two... One, two, she like, our us, we would get spanked. All seven of us kids, we either get spanked, put in the corner, grounded, all that. Um, but our parents were also raising us to be ministers and in the ministry. Her kids were in and out of juvenile detention centers and um, had problems with the law because she never spanked them. She was just like, I'm going to say, don't do it, one. She always kept to three, and we were always like, who cares, you're never going to get to three. Like, her kids knew they could get away with murder, and that wasn't fair. It's no. Looking back on it, if you compare the children of my mom's family and one of my aunt's families, our, her, my mom's kids are much more well-behaved, let's put it that way. Um, is one right? Is one wrong? No. But I do see the Bible's point of view on this. If you don't spank your kids if you spare the rod you will spoil the child now on the flip side i definitely think child abuse is a major major problem i do not think ever there's no excuse to beat a child never um but i don't see anything wrong with spanking or disciplining your children either there is a there is a in my opinion there's a very big line between abuse and discipline um I do think that one of the times my mother was spanking one of my sisters and she was just so mad that she might have crossed that line a little bit and went into more of an abusive situation. Which is probably why parents or adults are so afraid because they don't know when it's too much is too much. But if you do let your kids get away with murder, there's definitely, definitely a problem. I mean, look at TV shows like Teen Mom. I mean, you're definitely showing our children today. I think parents are so afraid to discipline their children. They're not disciplining them for anything, whether they go out and party and get drunk or get pregnant or are promiscuous or having sex. Our parents need to really wise up. In our world, 
teenagers and children definitely need to be disciplined. I mean, look at shows like Teen Mom or Teen Pregnancy. I mean, they're glorifying promiscuous children. Yes, I realize kids are going to have sex. Yes, I realize that, you know, whatever. But look at all these kids that are getting away with murder, you know, getting drunk, getting pregnant, getting, you know, high and wasted. That is, we definitely need to tighten the belt and or bring out the rod and help these kids realize that there are consequences for your behavior. I mean, I bet, I would venture to say that if parents disciplined their children more and were not so afraid to discipline them, that there would not be so many kids in the juvenile detention centers. And I don't think there would be so much teen crime, you know, because people get the Superman syndrome thinking that they can get away with anything they want. They're not going to get caught. My mom doesn't care. My mom doesn't whatever. And that's a big problem. Parents need to discipline their kids, and parents need to discipline their kids. I'm not saying that the principal is allowed to spank children, but they need to be disciplined. Um, I don't know what would be better than spanking, but they need to be disciplined somehow. You know, because it's easy to say, oh, you have after school detention. No, he doesn't. I'm not able to pick up my kid, whatever. Parents can talk their way out of anything they want, and kids definitely need to be reprimanded. They have to realize that there are consequences, you know, good and bad in the world, and it's not happening. Anyways, that was Misty Eyes with Queens of the Week. Loving you is easy.